The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 152, Nasdaq's off 37, S&Ps are down 13, gold contract up $7.80, trading at 1336. You get silver up 7 cents, $16.43. Oil flat, 63.54. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note up 8 ticks, 120.26. 30-year bond up 20 ticks, 145.17. King dollar down 259 ticks, 89.895 per uh, euro is 122.66 per one U.S. dollar. Yen is at 107.17 per one U.S. dollar. Guess what? It's Friday, folks. We've got a great surprise here. Got our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Steve Rhodes, we're back at 10 o'clock in the morning, brother. How about that? Feels great. Feels great. The only thing would be better if I uh, if I flew your helicopter, you know, from my home to your home, and I could be right next to you. How cool would that be? <laughs> ha having a helicopter. <laughs> Seriously, man. Seriously. Uh, that's right. That's so, right. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, just give the market uh, a couple hours, right? That's all the market needs. It seems whether we're up uh, 200, down 200, uh, all of the above. Uh, no question about it. And... You know, it used to be we would see a move of, of three or 400 points, let's call it, in the Dow. And you'd say to yourself, boy, that means something. Or maybe it does mean something. And in at this moment, today, as we speak right now on April 6th, it doesn't mean a thing. Right. Because the average true range, just the last 10 trading sessions, so a very short period of time, is 481 points. That is just the average. Right. You know, so if we see a 481-point move today... You can't say that that is a real influencing factor. It's just moving. Now, you know, that's why you all of a sudden you start to see what we had a six or 700 point, 700 point swing in the futures contract uh, earlier in the week. I mean, these are the numbers that we're dealing with. So it's always good. I think it's always good just to kind of keep it in a frame of reference um, and then to go interpret the charts. But the numbers don't necessarily mean as much these days as maybe they have in the past in a little bit quieter type market out there so. yeah it's the you know there's there's no doubt and you know most times folks when you get volatility like this it stays normally for four or five six months so yeah e even gold gold the average true range in gold on a daily base right now is 16 bucks right you know so so it just uh, it, it just for me it makes it a little bit easier i can stay a little bit more grounded um to to, before I can take a look at something and say, hey, there's there's a breakout, a breakdown, or or something along those lines. So, and I think we really have really interesting markets right now because I, you know, you talk about the fight between the bulls and the bears. I mean, I see it going on right now between the indices. In other words, I've got conflicted signals, so to speak, where I can. I can show that the S&P and the Dow specifically has formed a really nice bottoming pattern out here. But the real fight is between the NASDAQ or even the NDX 100 and the other stock indices out here. And so the question that I have to pose to myself is who's going to be who's the big who's going to win? Right. Who's the big gun out there? You know, is it the NASDAQ that is the real big gun or is it the Dow and the S&P? I don't I, what are, what are your thoughts? Well, what I've seen is this, is that when you get large downdrafts in the marketplace, yes, one of them always tops out about two to three months before the other two. And it's pretty vicious, man. Uh, you know, if you go look at 2000, you look at 2006, you're going to see, uh, I believe the NASDAQ had topped out uh, June, I mean, uh, January 24th. The Dow didn't top out until March 10th. Yes. Um, so... You know, and in, so in that context, to me, it's like, okay, man, you know, like if you look at the S&P, you know, where, where, what I think where people get lost, meaning just, I'm talking, I'm talking about trade, I'm not talking about traders here, I'm talking about investors, right? Sure, sure. Is that, so let's say if we get the cash S&P, we take a look at the cash S&P, well, what, what has happened is that, you know, the, the, the cash S&P, you know, basically, you know, we've topped out at, uh, what, 2872. 
Well, you know, you're down almost 10 percent from that. And then what happens is long-term investors, the market, well, every broker dealer out there keeps telling them to buy. So what ends up happening is that they're down in their portfolio, but then because we keep going back and forth, they get complacent again, like, okay, and then all of a sudden you take the next leg down, now you're down another 4%, and then you take another, and then now all of a sudden within, let's say, six weeks from now, you're down 20%, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, what's happened? Sure, so, sure. So, you know, bottom it, it, line, um, <laughs> you know, we're, we're already down quite a bit, but yet because we keep coming back and, you know, I mean, people long-term, they, they want markets to go up, um, you know, yeah, but if we stick with that theme, because you know you 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 hit on a and a great theme here, and if I just if I just stick with the S and P as uh, for the moment, I think a really important number for people to pay attention to in the S and P is twenty six seventy three sixty one. Now twenty six seventy three sixty one happens to be the actual close of two thousand seventeen, so it was December twenty ninth of this year. Yeah, that's the exact close. If we take a look at yesterday's high, yesterday's high was twenty six seventy two, so it approached that level. So far, it's turned down. The reason why I think that is important is if we take a look at just a seasonal cycle pattern inside the Dow, so, and, and basically this would follow for the S&P 500 as well. We're in a very favorable seasonal cycle for the market. The market typically forms that bottom towards the end of January, early part of February, and moves all the way up into that May time frame, typically May 19th, before there's any kind of decent pullback, and then moves higher into July. But we're in a very favorable seasonal cycle. Now, this favorable seasonal cycle, Tom, this can't really be effectuated. This really can't be given us a signal that we're in this until we see price get back above at least the close of 2017. So this then signals to me we're either in this very large, look, the, the average price movement in the S&P is 48 bucks. So, you know, you and I have talked about a trader's paradise before. Doesn't get any better than that. Right now, to have 48-point moves on a daily right. basis, as you said, because you can, you, you've got both sides of the trade that you can take a look at. So in the S&P 500, I see it really yesterday got up to a, an important resistance level, hasn't crossed it. If it does cross it, then I say, okay, we can get back into the highs from uh, the, uh, the March highs out here, March 13th. But in talking about the correlation between the NASDAQ, who's the big dog? And you talked about, you've seen where markets will top out, uh, uh, one market will top out early, and then the next ones will follow along. If we take a look at the correlation, now this is a longer term chart because this is a weekly time frame. The top panel is the NASDAQ composite. The bottom, the, uh, the, the panel below that is the S&P 500. And then below that is the correlation tool that I use. And this goes ahead and takes a look at the correlation, the directional correlation between these two. And it shows, and now this is set to just simply a five-week period of time, but any time the bar is above zero, and there's only one bar below zero out here where the market would be uncorrelated, this shows us that there is a strong correlation. And the reason why I think that's so important, and we can talk about this when we come back from the break, is because I'm going to be doing a workshop that uh, uh, helps to identify bear market patterns that have been present in the Dow for the last 130 years. It's not present in the Dow but it is present in the NASDAQ right now. Yeah. So that's... your point, your point that one market will top and then others will follow, very interesting. Totally. Stay right there, folks. Steve and I are coming right back. Uh, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now down 161. NASDAQ's off 35. S&Ps are down 13. Steve and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 159. Nasdaq's off 31. S&Ps are off 12 and a half. We have our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. And Steve Rhodes, folks, uh, by the way, is the number one market timer, according to Di Timers Digest, for three months, six months, a year in the S&P. Number one market timer in the gold market. Steve Rhodes is going to be doing a workshop for all of us, okay? Going to be a great workshop. Steve, tell us. We were talking about markets. So tell yes. us about this workshop, man. Well, the, the importance of the workshop, especially with the size movements that we have and really the conversation that you and I just uh, began, which is, uh, you know, what do you make about uh, correlations, let's yes. say, between the NASDAQ and the other markets? Um, there are, so I've studied the Dow because I've got the 130 years worth of the Dow. And, uh, you know, I'm always looking for, all of us, we're always looking for an edge. Of course, we do have an edge. It's called TFNN. You know, it's the tiger's den. So we do have an edge here with regard to minds that are out there trying to identify patterns. And many years ago, I was looking for one thing, Spent a lot of time and money looking for looking for um, celestial patterns that were out there that were present before the start of every bear market. Yes. To try to find one thing that was consistent, I couldn't find it. I spent a, a bunch of money, a lot of hours, which was even you know worse sure. than More the valuable. worse than the right. yeah yeah. And but sometimes things are right in front of us and we don't see them. And because I had some other tools and indicators on the chart, um, and I was working on having uh, this tool built. Lo and behold, I found a pattern that was present before the start of every bear market. So that's what the workshop is really all about, because we get inundated in today's day and age just between the tube that we watch or the screens or the articles or you name it. Right. You know, how do you pick out, you know, reality from... Uh, right. And so what I want to do for, for everybody is to share with them the exact five steps, the exact five patterns that are present before every bear market out there. And the nice thing is, is that, and I, so I give away the entire formula, the exactly how to take a look at this step-by-step -step process. Now, the cool thing is, Tom, is that it also works for intraday time periods and on different instruments. So it doesn't matter what it is that you might trade out here. This is the pattern. This is one of the patterns that you want to have in your arsenal 
for being able to spot bottom, spot tops, spot bear markets out there. Now, uh, subscribers get access to me during this 30-day period of time, or or longer if they uh, if sure, they continue. Sure, because they, get, as they get the newsletter too, right? I That's mean, right. Yeah. They, they get the newsletter. They've got my cell phone number, my emails. Everybody knows who's ever sent me an email uh, that I've returned it uh, very quickly, and and it's specific with regard to what they might be looking at or trading or some additional information. So they get that. They get a uh, they get my money management work workshop, which I believe position sizing is perhaps the most important thing that any of us can can use and do because, look, we may not be right on all the trades, um, but the idea is to be properly leveraged in your portfolio. Take the loss when you have a loss and move on to the next thing. That's why I always start my show with, you know, don't be a, don't be a prisoner of your past, be a pioneer of your future. You know, if a set of uh, trades are going to, you know, totally get you down, they, they can't get you down out of the game if you don't have the proper position size. So money management is really key. I also share with them, you know, talk about the, the group of people. So first I'll say, I have to say thank you. The only way that I was able to get that number one spot inside of Timer's Digest for, for gold for the markets is, is because of you. So I owe that well, thank to you. you. No, it, it, it's, and folks, this is they're not blowing smoke up Tom's skirt here. This is the absolute truth. You, you know, you talk about the, the start of his show where you say, you know, what you think about, you bring about, what you focus on, grow. Do, I don't know that everybody out there realizes how important that is because it is just absolute right. truth. You know, when I started listening to your shows way back in 2006, and I said, I want to do, I want to know what that guy knows. I want to have the same type of confidence and conviction that he has in being able to make his call. You know, I was like a kid. I listened. I, I, I was I had, was working at my businesses during the day, but I'd come home, and I would listen to the archive, and I would I would stop it. And you know, somebody would call you and say, what's this doing? I would stop it to try to go figure out, you know, my interpretation was like I was a little kid being a Tom O'Brien. And so the, 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 it's, it's the absolute truth. Look, I have found that the best way to attain success is to find somebody who's already done what you're trying to do and then find some way to emulate them, to copy them, to learn what you've to learn what you to learn what they know and then maybe add your own things to it and that's what i call proximity is power now i'm not the one that coined that phrase out there but what it does mean folks is that you've got to somehow move as close as you can to that and luckily in today's day and age between workshops that we do between those shows that we do um now what i did in 2000 and uh nine was uh took massive action and so in 2009 I went ahead, and because of a breakfast, you know, you cooked me a nice breakfast, by the way. Because of a breakfast we had, I end up relocating to Clearwater. Right. So right. I relocate to Clearwater. I'm working side by side with the guy that three years earlier, I'm like, this is, this is, who, I want to learn what he has out there, and that just shows you the importance. So it's not, it's not, and, and in 2009, you were the gold timer of the year. So it is not, it's not that unusual that I've been able to soak up all that information. And then, and then you talk about peer groups, or, or I say peer, peer groups, which is really the den and everything that you've created here, the host and so forth. Peer groups are some of the biggest influencing factors on an individual's success or outcome. So you've really created it all here. You know, and you do deserve those accolades. Each of us put in our own hard work. Oh, you put a is, huge amount of work in, right? No, listen, I appreciate it. I, and, and it's cool. You know, the bottom line is what, what Steve's saying, folks, okay, if you really do put the work in and you really believe that everything is inside you, and I absolutely believe that, and it's right I in front that. of us. It's right in front that. of us. The thing that's crazy about this, Steve, sometimes, right, is that, you know, just like you said, like, y you found this patent, right? Yes. And what I've found is that, is that so many times it's right in front of us, like, how didn't we see that years ago? You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that, that specifically, but that's what's so cool about life, right? Yes. You know, it's really cool, man. Yeah. It is. It is. And I think that's the more important, this conversation, this piece of the conversation, because, look, we're, in a, we're, we're involved with a group of people that are listening. All of us absolutely have one thing in, time, in common, and that is we are here to learn and to grow. You know, and we right. do it. You've created this forum, and we learn from each other. Uh, and that is that is a unique setting out here. And each of us have each other's backs. Um, you know, and, and and it's just it is a it is a it is a it is such a great. And you 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 coined the phrase. It's like it's like uh, uh, Hotel California. Oh, it is. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh. 
And I mean, it's it's so it's it's so technical analysis, which I think is the most fundamental element, because, you know, my background is that of a bean counter, a CPA. Sure. So I can do fundamental stuff left and right. But what I found was that the most fundamental thing about whatever it is you're looking at, commodities, currencies, equities, individual, whatever it is, it's all about what buyers and sellers are doing. And the ability to interpret what they do is a really cool thing. So, yeah, being able, so this workshop I'll be sharing with folks, uh, everything that they can use, that they need, um, it's really like taking all of those years worth of information and consolidating the best of the best, you know, into one hour out there. So, look, kudos to you. And and I, look, I love the accomplishment that I uh, received oh, it's this huge, week, man. And that's but, that's a reflection on all of us, which is great. And we appreciate yeah, all the work you've done, man. It, it, but it wouldn't have happened had it not been for you. And I recognize that, and I know that every day. Stay right. Thank you, man. Stay right there, folks. Steve and I are coming right back. We're going to walk you through how you can come into this workshop. Uh, bottom line, April 11th. 5 to 6 p.m. Steve and I come right back, folks. Would you like exposure to the foreign currency markets without any downside risk to your principal? Then consider the Petro Currencies Market Safe CD from Everbank. This three year US dollar denominated CD leverages the performance of four equally weighted currencies from these top oil producing countries Brazil, Canada, Mexico, and Russia. This CD features a 200% leverage factor, which means that your potential upside payment will be double the currency's average performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And if the returns are negative, your principal is 100% protected. Returns are based on CD performance with no correlation to the price of oil, and there is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. The April 19th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA FSB member FDIC. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow down 180, NASDAQ off 16, S&P's off 13, uh, S &P, uh, NASDAQ off 35. So, folks, uh, the way you commit to uh, Steve's workshop, go over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right in the very front, the carousel. You hit the carousel, you're going to get 30 days money-back guarantee, 
of his newsletter, great newsletter, Mastering Probability, comes out every, every day. You come into the workshop. The workshop's going to be April 11th, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. And guess what? You get the number one market timer in the world, folks. Bottom line, great newsletter, great workshop. And besides that, the real question is, and that's what that workshop's going to be about, are we at a top or not at a top? So you talk, you talk about timely. I mean, timely is the number here, man. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It, yeah. it, it, and, of course, uh, getting that accolade, I've got to work even harder. Because, I know. Uh, <laughs> Sergio, Sergio, Sergio Garcia showed us yesterday yeah. how, quickly you, how quickly you could go from first to worst. You yeah, know, that, you, it's, it's, it's good. It's good, man. It's good. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you know, so it, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to switch gears just for a second because uh, if we go over to the, some of the uh, uh, higher rated stocks, folks, okay, you know we got our man uh, Paul from uh, Las Vegas who call, is always calling about, uh, not always calling about, but he was in the, the crypto world in, yes. a, in a big way. Yes. So if we go and wait to see this, I was sitting there saying, oh, my God, this is terrible because he had called Tommy and I two days ago, right? Okay. Asking about uh, this long fin, about buying it, right? Ah, okay, okay. And I'm saying, man, don't touch this thing because I think it's a scam, right? Yes. So bottom line, this, this equity, folks, had gone from a price point of $5 uh, in December. It goes up to $142, okay? <laughs> yeah, $142. Uh, bottom line is that he, Paul called it $8, right? I watched it yesterday. It says, oh, man, the thing went top side of 22 yesterday. Uh, yes. Today, it was up. At 28, well, guess what, folks? The Nasdaq just stopped, halted the stock. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, it's this is uh, you know what had happened is that the, the journal, the Wall Street Journal, had done a story on this on Monday, and okay. you know, bottom line is that you know these equities like this, okay? There's nothing here. I mean, they get 18 employees. Um, they have, I don't believe they have any revenue. Yeah, there's no revenue. There's no revenue. I mean, it's it's just, hey, it's. You know, bottom line, whether if they get your newsletter, there's plenty of stocks that you can trade and not blow up overnight. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Look, it's a, you know, the, 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 the I, you know, I don't want to use necessarily use the word craze, but at that point in time when uh, Bitcoin was up to oh, the, yeah. uh, okay, there, there was a craze that was going on. Oh, no doubt, man. <laughs> and... Uh, there's a uh, there's a restaurant that I go I frequent uh, it's a sushi bar up in uh, Palm Beach okay and so I've gotten to know all you know every everybody that's in there sure and one of the one of the uh, younger you know waiters that that waits on us all the time uh, somehow started talking about Bitcoin and and that's and which was really kind of cool is here's this 20 something uh, uh, year old uh, who's who's you know is busting his butt, waiting on folks out there. And what he's doing in his off hours is he was starting to invest in the markets. Okay. And But in the cryptocurrency oh. world. And so with the crazier, and I just said, hey, I said, look, I think all that's great. You know, let me just try to share with you some things, just some experience out sure. here. And especially when the uh, when all of a sudden uh, Bitcoin was going to be coming on the CBOE. Oh. And I said, you know, now stuff is going to start getting into professional hands out here. So just be really careful because you've worked so hard for this, uh, for the money that you have. And, and start learning. That I just said, I tried to push him into, you know, start investigating technical analysis. You would be amazed, you know, at what this, because uh, you don't want you don't want to see somebody like that that's got an interest just get so totally burned. There's no um, doubt, man. Right? Because getting the interest in a spark, you know, boy, that's when you really want to be able to try to assist someone. So the folks that are listening that are out there that also have that kind of spark, whether it's my workshop or one that Basil puts on or David or Tom, you know, keep that spark and and, and try to consume as much information as you can out there. So I don't, I, I see this long fin on my screen every day to the upside to the downside. Yep. I didn't know what they did. Uh, because like you, you know, I've, I've popped open the chart a few times and haven't seen much in the way of volume, you know, and it just, it scares you. Yeah, no Scare, doubt. You know, what kind of liquidity with something that's doing 100,000 shares a day, oh. and then it has this, this big movement out here. So. Seriously. And now it's interesting, you know, if we, if we look at um, Bitcoin too, folks, okay, so Bitcoin is at 6,600 today. You get the high volume, basically swing low at 59. So you're going to 59. Now, listen to this, though. This is really intriguing. This just came across the tape. Um, so, so they they stopped it. What did they say? What was so they're under they, an investigation or something? Uh, um, just to finish your story. Does, yeah. There, so the long the long anything? the long fin deal. Um, it's let me see if they actually what what had happened is that the 
third straight halt. It's not saying why. They're, okay. they're asking for more information. Okay. Um, what the story was in the journal on Monday uh, was that the history of the, the people running it uh, is a bad history. <laughs> yes. Um, and that they didn't basically have any volume, any, uh, okay, so they're claiming that the company uh, offices commodity and trading, uh, risk transfer, carry trade financing. Um, uh, bottom line is that what they were basically saying is that, listen, there's nothing behind this firm. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and, you know, it's like, man, you never know how they can get so much traction, you know, but bottom line is that they got the traction. Um, well, you get that retail market that's out there, too, yeah. that was just jumping at anything, and it was like, you can't lose, right? No, was, I know, and then and it's serious business, man. I mean, it it's is. serious it is. business. Because, because as a product class, you know, there's a lot to it, I think. Yes, yeah, oh, for sure, right, right. right. So, we just, but you got to weed through a lot of this, a lot of the bad characters, so to speak. Right, and what you can get out of this, folks, more than anything, right, is that, when you come, like, the, when, when the Internet first started, so picture this, like, you know, TFNN.com, okay? When we first started, I had a bunch of other ones that are uh, still decent URLs. You could get it because at the very beginning, but what, sure. en what ended up happening is, of course, there were so many other companies that had, they did reverse mer mergers to go public, but all yes. they had to say is that they were going to do something on the Internet. Right, and in 1994, right. 1995, they went to the moon. And guess what? It only took about seven months, and there was nothing left. And there's so yes. many of those. So, you know, you just got to basically take it step by step, you know, no, pretty, pretty wild. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So gold, right? Yeah. You know, this is going to get interesting with gold. I mean, I, I know you, you know, you, you, you want it to break out at a certain level, but, you know, yes. this is, we're almost at 300,000 contracts here. So this consolidation is pretty cool, man. It is. It is. And, and, and part of it is uh, what I've got up on my screen right now is a very long term chart for gold. This is a continuous contract. But the pattern, one of the patterns that I like to trade that gives me confirmation, bullish or bearish, on a monthly basis, back in 2002, gave that bullish confirmation. Well, in December of 2017, we got that exact same pattern. And so long term, my call right now is gold is going to go to its all-time highs and beyond. But we're just working through a lot of churning that's going on right now. Yeah, uh, driving people oh. crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. Stay right there, folks. Steve and I are coming right back. And during the commercial break, you can come over to our website at TFNN. Sign up right now. Uh, Steve's uh, workshop it's going to be a great newsletter, great workshop, folks. Dow Industrials right now down 232. NASDAQ's up 47. S&P's are down 18. We'll come right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Let's go inside these indices and see what's moving them. Uh, Dow, we always know what's moving the Dow, man. Bottom line is Boeing is always what it's about. <laughs> so uh, if you got a weighted, a price weighted index, folks. Uh, Boeing is putting uh, 44 negative points in. You got uh, Caterpillar putting 22, Goldman putting 22. Uh, the only positive one uh, putting uh, six tenths of one point in is Procter & Gamble. Everything else is red inside the Dow. Uh, inside the NDX 100, um, Alta Salon is up 1.8 percent. Um, you know, taken away from it, uh, this is a, quite a hit. Uh, Inside Corporation is down 18 percent. You get Xilinx off 3.8, Regeneron's off down 2.9, and you get AMAT down 2.2. So coming into and 293 points is a kind of a slow day. <laughs> yeah, so far. I, that's so far. what you were saying. So, the the range is what 400 and something, right? Inside the Dow, nearly 500 points. Right. 485 right now as we speak. You know, for the last 10 trading sessions out there. So, um, it, you know, and it looks like it looks like this volatility is is here to stay. You know, one of the tells. So so we're neutral. I'll, I'll let folks uh, out there know. So inside the newsletter, with regard to the S and P 500. And what Timer Digest tracks is they track three things. They they track the S and P 500, in essence for the global indices out there. Yes. They track uh, they track uh, T bond futures and they track gold, kind of to cover the commodity piece of it. So with regard to the S and P 500, we're neutral inside of the uh, newsletter. We switched back to neutral a couple of days ago, and uh, and what I shared with subscribers this morning was we will stay neutral until we get a buy signal inside the NASDAQ. To go back to the opening conversation that we had, which was a part of the workshop, which is that the NASDAQ composite has generated on a weekly basis and a daily basis, has generated a, a significant sell signal. Uh, what it's going to turn into, I don't know, but but it's given us that significant, a significant enough sell signal to say, okay, on a weekly basis out here, and this is where price movement higher, doing less relative energy and a number of other elements that go with it. So we have that. We also know that the NASDAQ composite uh, on a daily chart out here. I'll just put up the uh, put up the let's see if I've got the composite out here. Um, I, although it's not noted, I'll, I'll, I'll put this in here. It's got a nice island top formation. So it's got the island top out here, which was in essence was between the let me draw this it's in. It's a for nasty folks. one too. Yeah, I can put it up yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. At all time highs, right? Right. So the worst, the worst kind of, you know, if we were writing a textbook and we were going to just talk about island tops, we'd say, hey, those that form at all-time highs, those are the ones you've really got to pay attention to. But we've got the, and, but that being said, you know, I also shared earlier on that uh, being able to trade above or below the opening of the calendar year is an important thing, especially during the seasonal cycle. So whereas the S&P and the Dow are not 
above those levels. The NASDAQ composite is. So 6903 is a real key number, in my opinion, for the NASDAQ composite. So what I... so. As I shared with the subscribers, we will not go back into a long position inside of the S&P 500 until we get a confirmation signal inside the uh, NASDAQ. And for me, it is, uh, I'm going to pull up the NQ chart. Um, and inside the NQ chart, yesterday was the ultimate test where the NQ and the NDX 100 did it and the NASDAQ composite did it as well, where price gets up to this little red line that is on my chart. I affectionately yeah. call it Stevie's red line. It's, it's really the term is it's the oscillator unchanged line. And, folks, what this is doing, this is, this is the line that is measuring whether the price oscillator, which is the bottom panel of our screen, is either rising or falling. And the interpretation, the easy interpretation, is if the price oscillator is rising, especially it's above zero, the zero line, it's bullish for the market. And anything, any type of pullback or any type of retracement that just tests that red line is nothing more than just a retracement. Doesn't get any more serious until you see a close below that. Well, yesterday, and, and when, the, uh, when the price oscillator gets down to zero, what you're looking for is a test of that red line, that oscillator unchanged line. That is where the price oscillator on the bottom panel would go completely sideways. And I can't tell you why it works. I just know that it works. And yesterday, price tried to overtake that level. But by the end of the day, the end of the session, it was a rejection. And that was a very bearish message out here. Now, it doesn't tell us where things are going to go. We have to use other support and resistance levels. But the mere fact that it could not do that yesterday. Right. This was before um, the news media put out the uh, stuff about the, you know, the, next, the next possible round of tariffs. Right. Or so, you know, the, so, so the mere fact that it fell, as I said to subscribers, we're not going to go along this market until we see a close, at least a close above that red line. Right now it's priced at 66.17. It's the same thing for the NDX. It's the same thing for the Dow. And so this keeps me grounded, especially knowing that these big price moves in the market, sure. they're just kind of normal right now. Right, which is insane, but they are. That's, that's the, you know, it's pretty wild, folks, and, and Steve, and this is what happens in markets, right? You know, my take is that markets don't get driven by news, okay? But I know that the way sure. that the cycles work, oh, people are always saying that this pushes it this way, this push, but it always blows my mind that when there are downdrafts, it's like, okay, this is pushing the market down, this is pushing the market, it's like selling, man. It's, it's buying and selling, you know what I mean? It, it, what's intriguing is that when markets go up, people don't say, that, oh, this is what's pushing the market up. <laughs> it's just when, the, when they're selling that this is what's pushing the market down. It's like, well, you know. Yes, it's, yes. It's, it's, no, it's, I, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Because, because uh, you know, so how, how did the buying and selling know yesterday when we saw the rejection That's in the NDX point. and the NASDAQ? I know. Yeah. They didn't know that, right. that the that the Trump was going to come out at 6:15, right. or, you know, yeah. and it, you know that the message was already clear. Okay, hey, you can't go long, you know, those markets just yet because you don't, in my opinion, you didn't have a clear message. The other clear message that we didn't have was the mere fact that the uh, spot volatility index. I I love looking at that for a number of reasons, but I love looking at it because this is something everyone can do, and that is taking a look at it in relationship to its 50-day exponential moving average and it is when price is above that 50-day line does not matter what the price of the spot volatility index is when it stays above that line that's where you can get price damage yeah. significant price right. damage and yesterday was no nothing more than a test of the 50-day uh, the low yesterday was 1857 and the 50-day uh, yesterday was 1861 and it closed back above it uh, so if we see price close below that if I see price get above that red line number out there then I say okay we're in this consolidation. We can go back and, you know, test the previous highs or some retracement thereof. You know, you have to look for some pattern that are out there that, that is out there. But we have enough signals to say you've just simply got to be uh, careful. Isn't it cool, really? Steve, that the, and what happens, folks, is this, is that just as that happened yesterday when it went up to uh, Steve's red line, right? Yeah, yeah. What happens is that when you don't bite and then all of a sudden, like something like that comes out at 615, you say, oh my God, because what we don't really know, folks, is how it really does happen, but we know that it's consistent enough. Yes, and exactly. Then, and then when that happens, like Tommy texted me last night, I mean, I was, you know, shot. I mean, we were shot yesterday. So, so I'm saying to myself, 
oh man, what a mind blower this is, right? Do you know what I mean? No doubt. Because you're, pay, you're paying more attention to what you know is in front of you versus what may or may not happen. You know and that's, that stuff came out last night, and I'm like, how do these charts know this? Seriously, man, seriously. Stay right there, folks. Steve and I are coming right back, and in the commercial, you can come over and get in Steve's webinar, folks. Great newsletter for a month, great workshop. Steve and I come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. There are five reasons traders and investors fail to spot bear markets. It's a set of five very specific patterns that have preceded every bear market during the last 130 years. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability and the number one market timer in the nation as ranked by Timer's Digest for the S&P 500 for the last three, six, and 12 months. You see, timing is everything. And on Wednesday, April 11th at 5 p.m., I'm going to share with subscribers exactly how to time the next bear market. Look, the last three bears averaged a decline of 49%, which means you've got to earn 82% just to make your money back. Wouldn't it be easier to avoid the next bear market altogether? Sure, countless experts tell you that markets can't be timed, but what they're really saying is that they can't time the markets. So let me teach you how. Sign up for Mastering Probability by coming to the homepage of TFNN.com to begin your 30-day money-back guarantee trial membership and learn the exact tools that I use to time the markets. And if you can't attend live, don't worry, because the workshop will be archived on your members page for the next 30 days. Don't let that next bear market eat your porridge. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Dave, uh, Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We have the uh, Dow right now down 343, NASDAQ off 74, S&P's off 29. To recap, folks, I'm in Mr. Steve Rhodes, number one market timer out here, S&P's in gold. He's going to be doing a workshop. This workshop, the way you get into it, go right to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the very front, April 30th. You April, get a, 11th. April 11th. April 11th. Oh my God! Thank you. I said that. Yeah. Uh, you bet. You it bet. And it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for the work for the uh, newsletter, folks. Uh, and you talk about timely, folks. Okay. The bottom line is that what he's going to be talking about is that the five reasons traders and investors fail to spot a bear market. He's not saying there is a bear market. What he's going to give you is he's going to give you the things to look for if, in fact, that's where we're at. It's a beautiful yes, thing. That's right. And, and, and because of the, look, we're overdue for a bear market. So they, for the last 100 years, they have been occurring at a rate of about one every five and a half years. During the last 70, uh, it has come down to a, a much shorter clip than that. We are beyond that 
time period. Right. So it's really important, you know, between now and into the uh, future, while folks have done well in rebuilding their nest egg, uh, to to really just pay attention. And these are these are the, the set of tools that I'm going to share with folks. You, you don't have to be a rocket scientist technologist. It, it's it's easy stuff that I'm going to show folks. Uh, and, and certainly becoming a subscriber of Mastering Probability, you know, then you've got my eyes to watch your back as well out there. So, uh, you know, so thank Hey, Tom, real quickly, tell us about the real estate market, uh, what you see in your area. Well, what, what, St. Petersburg is on fire. We're in St. Petersburg in a big way, meaning it's getting gentrified in a huge way. Um, and you it, don't see any slowdown, any anything at this stage? No, it's a, it's a real... Um, dynamic market there's young people the average age in st petersburg now is 42 years old oh that's and cool. it used to be like 60 70. i mean the young that's people cool. come in from everywhere that's cool hey tom thanks so much it's so thanks, great man. to be here with you have a great one yeah. have a safe one great being back with you no doubt stay right there folks we got swim lessons coming up then we got um, uh, basil chapman steve will be back dave i'll be back this afternoon have a great one folks have a safe one since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.